When creating, I'm always trying to be as honest, genuine, and transparent as possible, and then have a platform for people to take a look at the piece and then really reflect what's within them. And, and then have someone be able to connect with that piece just from providing the energy that I put from myself into, into the piece. Um, it really, really tells a lot. My family is from Iraq and my dad came to this country in the 80s. Fam our family comes from uh, jewelers and so when I was 12 I was working with my dad and he all, around all this gold and all this jewelry and he was always telling me to sell and at 12 you're just like okay but uh so gold is something i'm, I'm very drawn to and this piece has has that you know and you know the mood the weather the food all of that impacts how a piece gets created and specifically looking at this piece um, my mood i was content i was at a very very peaceful state of mind and it and i'm drawn to blues uh, another aspect of this piece is learning about dimensions i'm, I'm I'm working my way to understand perspectives of dimensions and allowing depth to come through the piece. And then also applying techniques along the way, so incorporating techniques that I've learned and then ex exploring new techniques within the piece as well. My background is actually in biology. I discovered painting on, it was quite spontaneous. There was a time where I was really going through some life transitions and um, I just ended up having the opportunity to explore myself through painting and it's been a, quite a healing process for me. In order to include truth in a painting, you have to be honest with yourself. It starts with yourself. How can you be able to connect with others if you haven't connected with yourself? You have to be able to be open, accepting of yourself, and to be able to um, really look at yourself inside and just be proud of that. Not, not prideful, but be proud that you deserve to be here. You have a gift and that you can connect with as many people. I think ideally it's the intent, it's your intention, it's your energy. What kind of energy are you putting out there? Because people sense it. I, I create abstract and there's so many people that tell me that they sense it, a certain thing about a piece and, and they're spot on. And so I believe that there's more than five senses. But the thing is, is I see the artworks as memories, you know, because you know, as, as we go through, we're, we're taking in more memories and more experiences. So it's almost like, it is almost like a picture, a snapshot that, you know, you, cause when I look back at old pieces, I, I remember that time. I remember where I was. I remember how I was feeling. And it, it is a memory in itself, but you have to keep going. You have to move on. We're here in the present. The present is the gift. And so in order for us to keep going, yes, you appreciate your experiences, but you still have to be present. You can't hold on to things. You, you create them and then you let them go. And then whoever is meant to have them and whoever is meant to con connect with them is meant to connect with them. And I truly feel like every piece is meant to go to a specific person or place. And, and, and that's just how I like to look at things. The thing about abstract is it's trying to pull something from nothing. Like you are creating as you go. There's no rules. It's just, you just keep going. And when I look at abstract now, I realize it's more of the process and it's more of the, the introspection. And that's the, 
the the ability to do it is what allowed me to understand that it's it's has nothing to do with the the techniques and and all of that yes that's one thing but abstract is more of the inner and the unknowing the that there's no rules that it can go any which way and that it works for you or whoever is viewing it.